Hello everyone, this is Blex here. I'm bringing you a guide on how to use my DFS NBA Team Builder. So what this will do is it allows you to construct mathematically optimal teams based on the amount of points while staying within the salary cap constraints of DraftKings as well as the player constraints of DraftKings. And it allows you to also sample your teams as well so you can add some randomness in there so you can create a collection of teams to then enter into a DraftKings contest. Now up on screen right now is my GitHub page and you can find that at Blex42 slash DFS NBA Team Builder. Now we're going to come back to this in a second, um, but I do want to show you guys where to get your files, which is the first thing you want to do from DraftKings in order to utilize this package. So you're going to go to your DraftKings main page. We're on the top page right now. There's no active NBA contest because it's All-Star Weekend, or All-Star Week I should say. But in order to get the file that you need to use this package, we're going to go to the Lineups tab. We're going to go to Upload Lineups. And we're going to select the NBA dropdown. We want a classic matchup. Then we then have the six games slate. Let's just grab that whole file. We're going to go ahead and download this. We can then go here, show in folder. It's going to bring up my downloads tab. Uh, and from here, let's just name this DK file uh, example. Just for, just for me, we're going to go ahead and copy and put this into a, another file location. So I am going to put it in my D drive in a couple folders that I'm just calling YouTube video examples. Now you could put this on your C drive. You can put this anywhere, but as long as you put it in a location that you can access or access, I should say. Um, okay. Now from here, let's go to this GitHub page and I'll get you guys started. So I'm going to go approach this guide as if you've never used Python before, because I've gotten a lot of questions on Reddit saying, how do you use this? I haven't used Python before. So I'll address that. So let's pretend you've already downloaded Anaconda just because that's a whole nother video and I can link a video here as well. We're gonna go into our search bar. We're gonna type Anaconda prompt. We're gonna click enter. Naturally, mine owns, opens up in the C drive and that's completely okay. Um, so you're probably gonna be putting your file in the C drive as well. So you're gonna do CD and then you're just gonna grab the file location of wherever you stored that DraftKings file. So um, CD and then you just copy and paste that location there and click enter. Now for me that's not going to work because I'm on my D drive so I have to then switch to my D drive first and then I can CD into that exact location. Now from here uh, we are going to do a Jupyter notebook. Now what this will do is it'll pop up this screen right here and you can see that the file that you dragged in there is visible as a CSV. And I already have a Python notebook in there for the video's sake already accessible. Now the other thing we need to do is pop open another Anaconda prompt. And we're going to do a pip install. And we're going to get this from the GitHub page I created. And we're going to do a pip install of the actual package I created. So we're going to do a pip install of this. It then goes ahead and installs it. Note that if you don't have Pulp, Pandas, or NumPy, it will require you to download that. Now, from here, there's one additional step we need to do, and that's go back to our folder where we put our CSV. We're going to open that file up, and we're going to clean this file up. So I'll show you guys what, I'm, what I mean here. So when you open this up, you'll notice there's some empty space to the side where you can put your teams in. We're going to go ahead and just go column I to column A, delete this out. We're then going to go above our column headers here and delete these instructions out as well. Now from here, we are all set. Uh, and this can be used within our Python code. Some additional notes that you can do at this stage is you can go ahead and delete certain players. So for example, let's say you don't want to play Kyrie Irving because maybe he's questionable. You can go ahead and delete him out. Uh, let's say you, you're not really liking the matchup that Larry Nance Jr. has, you can go ahead and trim his project or his average points down because we're going to be predicting and optimizing our teams based on this column I, the average points per game column. So you can go here and this is where the value comes in. So my optimizer is great for giving you the most efficient teams, but going through here and handicapping and figuring out which matchups you like, which players you like, uh, which are hurt, which can't play, all those different things, that's the value you can create within this uh, CSV file by going ahead and deleting out players that 
aren't going to be playing that night or altering their point value. Now once you've got this set up and you have all the players you like, you can go ahead and save this file. Go ahead and click yes. Now that's all set. Now we're going to go back to our homepage here. Now if you haven't already created a sheet, you're going to go into the new Python 3 dropdown. And that's going to bring open this blank sheet here. I already pre-created a sheet just so I can talk as you guys are typing. We're going to want to go ahead and import DFS MBA Team Builder. And then we're going to do a from DFS MBA Team Builder import DK Team Builder. Now, the last thing you want to do is import Pandas. Uh, the reason you want to do that is because they're going to be reading in our CSV that we just worked with. Now, once you've done that, we're going to go back to our file, our folder. We're going to grab the file name of the CSV we just worked on, and we're going to go ahead and type in dfr equals pd read csv dk file example. So now what this is going to do is it's going to read in, I got to read in that first, it's going to read in our CSV that we just looked at, and I'll show you that it's the exact CSV here, and uh, we have our players, we have their IDs, we have their positions, we have everything that we need to be able to create our team with. Now we can go ahead and delete that out. Let's delete this here. Now we want to set how many, how much we want to sample and how many teams we want to create. So sampling percentage. A sampling percentage of one, or of, yeah, of one, that is not going to sample anything. It's just going to basically give you the same team 20 times or however many times you want to create teams, 150 times three times, one time, however many times you're going to create a team, it's going to give you the exact same team. So you don't want to set it at one if, unless you really are feeling confident about your lineup that you're getting. But uh, otherwise, you want to set it at something like 0.2 or maybe a 0.5. So what this is saying is take all the available players and, and sample half those players out every single time you create a team. The first time you create a team, it's going to create the mathematically optimal team. And then from there, it's going to start sampling, just to be clear. So for this example, let's leave it at 0.2. That means only leave us the bottom 20% of the, not bottom, but just leave us 20% of the data frame uh, in the end. And we want to create 20 unique teams with this. So from here, we're going to type in player usage. You can name this whatever you want, whatever data frame you want to hold the player usage data. And you also want to hold, uh, create another data frame with a comma here. So it's player usage. That'll hold one data frame, frame, comma, data frame number two, and we're going to be calling it DK upload. Now from here, we're going to say that is going to equal DFS MBA team builder dot DK team builder dot DK team builder mod. And that's just my package right here that you're calling. And we're going to be feeding it the data frame that we just read in here, that CSV. We're then going to be feeding it the amount of teams we want to create, which is 20. And then we're going to be sampling this at a 20% rate that we set previously. Now from here, you can go ahead and click enter. And it'll start creating teams. So as you can see, it's using the average points column to create the teams. It outputted 20 unique teams. We can go to player usage. You can see that in this particular run, it really liked Levert. We have 13 out of our 20 usages, or our 20 teams have uh, Levert. Wade's very popular, and we have a bunch of single entries down here below, single people. Um, and it's important to check this because sometimes you might miss a player that's not playing. Like let's say James Harden's hurt, and we gotta go back to our CSV file and delete that out and rerun this. Also, sometimes weird things can happen. So even though we're sampling 20%, I've seen instances where you've had like 17 uh, out of the 20 teams had Ben Simmons in it. And for my liking, that was a little bit too much. Uh, so I went ahead and redid this process. I restarted the kernel, restarted everything, and I went through and created another 20 teams so that we can go ahead and uh, use that, that so we didn't have C. This is a perfect example. Sometimes we just have too much exposure to one person and you want to resample that out. So go ahead and feel free to rerun it if you need that. The last thing is the second file that we created here, the DK upload file. So it naturally looks like this. This is the player IDs on DraftKings. And then we're going to do a dot two CSV. And we're going to call this the 219 um, DK upload. That's CSV. And actually, one thing I forgot to do is you can actually do a comma 
index equals one, I believe, or maybe it's zero. Let's go ahead and check this. So our file exported to that same folder, and you actually want to do equals what is it, we do zero, whatever. We're going to do want to do equals zero. The reason for that is it gives you this extra gap here, so it saves you from having to delete that out. So you can just let's delete this, and then let's run this again and open that up again, and we get a clean results file. And you can take this exact file. You don't have to do anything to it. You go here and you just click upload CSV. You navigate to the location that you want. And then you can click open here. And it'll give you the lineups. So there we go. Um, post any questions you guys might have. And uh, thank you guys for watching.